Hi friends, today's meditation is going to help you strengthen your third eye chakra. A lot of times we hear people talk about like, oh, I wanna open my third eye, I wanna strengthen my third eye. But I'm gonna remind you, if you have listened to my podcast at all, if you have not done any work on your root, don't bother with the third eye, okay? It's like the foundation of a house, all right? If your foundation was wonky and your walls were all askew, you wouldn't be worrying about what color to paint them, okay? Kind of the same with the third eye. I know the third eye is sexy. I know the idea of becoming more psychic is so fun, but I promise you, the more effort you put into the lower chakras, the easier it's gonna to be to find balance in the upper. So as always, I'll link the series on the podcast down in the show notes, the description of this episode, whatever it's called, so you can catch up. But I'm gonna assume, if you're still watching, you're already here. You've already done the work and we can just get into it. For this meditation, I want your eyes open to start. And I want you to just look at the room around you and really take it in. So kind of scan from side to side, taking the different shapes, the colors, Almost like, you know, those memory games where you flip a card and you have to memorize which one it is and then you flip it over and you have to find that one by flipping the rest of them. That's what we're doing here. So I want you to try and memorize all of the details in the space in front of you. Okay, take it in. The colors, the shapes, the textures, what's in the room, where things are in relation to you and each other. Okay, really take it in, using the eyes here, getting that perspective is really what the third eye is all about. And also mindful watching, right? So meditation, again, it doesn't always have to be sitting and breathing. It can be looking and really seeing and letting your brain really focus on what your eyes are taking in, right? That's still meditation. So I want you to pick a corner or a space in the room that feels most interesting to your eyes and just zoom in on that corner. It's really memorizing the different colors and shapes, maybe the way the light hits that corner where there's shadow and highlights, the things in that space from the ceiling all the way up all the way down to the floor. And then once you have a good idea of that corner, close your eyes. And in your mind's eye, your inner vision, try to rebuild that corner. Can you see the color of the walls? The floor, the ceiling, the angles in the corner where the walls connect. And slowly, slowly, just starting to build in the details. Maybe there's furniture, decorations. See the general outlines and then start to fill in the colors, the details. Take your time. Don't stress if you struggle to, to find every little detail. That's not the point here. This mindful seeing with the eyes closed. And then can you zoom out from that corner and start to build the rest of the room? Maybe you start with the walls, the ceiling, the floor. Where are you in relation to the other things in the space? And get curious, what comes through most easily to you? Is it the, the structure 
of the things in the space? Is it the colors, the textures? Are there certain textures that stick out to you more than others? Are there parts of the room that feel completely blank? Or are there parts that feel really easy to create? Just let it be fun, like you're painting on a canvas. Then bring your awareness back to that corner that you started with. See if there's any other details you can fill in here. Has any clarity come through? Hold that corner in your inner vision and then slowly open your eyes. Gaze upon that corner. Just notice whatever there is to notice. Were there things that stood out to you that were easy to remember? Were there things that you completely missed? Like I'm staring at a door right now. There was no door in my inner vision. <laughs> but the wall color was spot on. And this can be a really fun practice to do. I like to do it in hotel rooms when I'm staying there, like when I'm falling asleep at night or right when I wake up in the morning. Um, environments that are really familiar to you versus environments that are new to you will have a different experience with your inner vision. So just something to get curious about. If you are someone who has a commute on public transportation, this is one you could do too. Maybe you gaze out the window of the bus and then close your eyes and recreate that vision. Maybe you recreate the entire journey of your commute with your eyes closed and then open your eyes periodically and see if you're in the same spot that you thought you were. That could be really fun too. But play with this. Let me know how it went for you down in the comments and subscribe for more.